Hey everyone, my name is Michael Schlattke-Larkemper and in this video I would like to show you how to get started with Julia and TrixieJL. I will show you how you can obtain and install Julia on a Linux machine, get the Trixie package and its dependencies and even run and visualize your first simulation with TrixieJL. First of all, we need to get the Julia binaries. Go to www.julialang.org. On the top, you will find the download button. And here are the latest releases available. Please note that there is a current stable release and a long-term support release. You should always get the current stable release since the long-term support release is typically very much out of date. Since we're on Linux here, I will just get the link for this 64-bit executable here. And I will directly download it here in the terminal. While this is downloading, I would like to point you to this little link up here, the platform specific instructions. This has additional notes on how to install Julia on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, and especially will tell you how to make sure that the system finds the Julia binary if you just type in Julia at the command prompt. Okay, this has successfully downloaded. So we'll just unpack the downloaded tar file and enter the unpack directory into the bin directory and we just execute Julia here. That's it. So now we have installed Julia. We're ready to go. The next step is to install Trixie and its dependencies. The easiest way to do this is by going to our GitHub page and uh, find and copy the installation string from there. So let's go to www.github.com slash Trixie dash framework slash Trixie JL. This is the official Trixie repository. If we scroll down a little bit in the readme, we will find the commands that we're looking for. It's just these two lines. We can just copy them, including this little uh, Julia prompt in the beginning. This will be stripped away by the Julia REPL automatically. And we just paste it in here and run it. Please note that this installation process, which is only required the first time you install Trixie and its dependencies, typically takes quite a while. So your best bet is now to get a grab of coffee, uh, to grab a cup of coffee uh, and come back when this is done. In the meantime, I would like to uh, point to you to some other packages that are installed besides uh, Trixie. We will also install Trixie 2 VTK, which is our post-processing tool that converts Trixie output files into files that can be read by Paraview or Visit. It will also install Ordinary DiffEQ, which is the package we use for time integration, and it will install the plots package, which we use for visualization directly within Julia. While this is running now, I will just uh, fast forward in this video to make this not as boring as it has to be. And that's it. Now, depending on your internet connection, on your computer speed, and what kind of other tasks your computer is churning at the same time, this can take, the whole process can take between two minutes and about 10 minutes. So uh, just be patient. Okay, everything is installed now, so we can start using Trixie. First, we have to load Trixie into the current session by typing in using Trixie. When you execute this, this will come with an additional small delay because in the background, Julia is pre-compiling some stuff already. To run the first simulation, the easiest way to do this is to use our default example. 
In Trixie, setups for simulations are defined as pure Julia code. We call them elixirs. And we have packaged a number of elixirs with Trixie already such that you can get started immediately. So for the default example, we execute the function Trixie include, which is a convenient wrapper around regular Julia include. And then we will load the default example. The default example is a 2D simulation of a linear scalar advection problem. It's nothing very fancy. It's just a smooth sinusoidal wave being advected through the periodically connected domain. But it serves as a good first case to learn how Trixie works and to understand how elixirs are built up. This again will take uh, some time to get started because now Julia is actually compiling all the functions at first use. Now we already see some output. First, there's a simulation summary. And finally, let me scroll up again. First, you will see some simulation summary showing the settings that have been used for the simulation. Then when the simulation gets started, you will see these little outputs here, which show how far the solution has already progressed. And finally, when you're done, you will typically see a summary of how much time was spent for the simulation and in which part of the solution. Now, according to the timers, this time it took roughly four seconds to run. This includes the time it was spent on compiling everything for the first time. But since the compiler caches everything within a REPL session, if you run this now again, you will see the time has been cut down to roughly 30 milliseconds. So this is the actual runtime after everything has been compiled for this example. Now we've run our first simulation. To look at the results, we use the plots package. So again, we have to first load it into the repo by executing using plots. Then we can plot the results by just executing the plot command, which comes with the plots package, and pass to it the sole variable. In Trixie, we use the sole variable to hold the solution in all our elixirs. So if you use an elixir that was that comes prepackaged with Trixie, you can just plot the sole variable. This will open up a window similar to this. And since this is a 2D simulation, we get this two-dimensional heat map plot of the solution. And that's it. Now you've installed Julia, you've obtained Trixie, you've run a simulation, and you've plotted your first result. If you want to like to find out more about Trixie JL, how it works, please go to the GitHub website and uh, have a look at the documentation there. Besides the readme file, we has also have a documenter based documentation page where you can find more information about how to run Trixie, how to visualize results. There are a few tutorials available and some more detailed information on the meshes, on callbacks, and on some of the advanced topics mostly relevant for people who want to develop with Trixie Gel. If you have still further questions, please feel free to open an issue at our uh, Trixie JL GitHub page or contact us on Trixie Slack. The link for this you will also find on the GitHub webpage up here. Thank you very much and have fun with Trixie.